So did you hear about this? Did you hear about Obama giving his opening statement or opening vision at the Paris Climate Change Conference? Well, he was supposed to speak for three minutes and guess how long he spoke for? He spoke for 14 minutes. He was repeatedly warned by a three beep audible buzzer that pretty much everybody in the auditorium could hear and we will see this in a minute, but he was repeatedly warned multiple times and he just ignored it. He ignored the warning and he kept flapping his gums like he's the most important person in the world. The thing is, is that if each one of the 147 world leaders that are attending the Paris Climate Conference, if each one of them would have spoken for the 14 minutes that Barack Hussein Obama spoke for, it would have taken 34 hours to get through all the speeches. So what he did was he essentially took somebody else's time, you know, because he is God's gift to the world and he's more important than everyone else. Now, of course, this is something that's really minor, but you know what? If George W. Bush would have done this, it would have been splashed on the front page of the New York Times. It would have been all over the Sunday talk shows including Meet the Press, and they would have roasted the guy for this. But because it's Barack Hussein Obama, he gets a free pass. And this just shows Obama's utter disdain for the rules, from everything from the Constitution to turning over subpoenaed materials, paperwork, and emails to Congress and the FBI when they ask for it, to following a simple rule. Obama just doesn't think that the rules apply to him. Because here again, he's God's gift to the world. Watch and see what we mean. Here in Paris, let's reaffirm our commitment that resources will be there for countries willing to do their part to skip the dirty phase of development. Here in Paris, let's also make sure that these resources flow to the countries that need help, preparing for the impact of climate change that we can no longer avoid. Meaning wealth redistribution, a.k.a. world socialism. Climate change is a threat to their very existence. And that's why today, in concert with other nations, America confirms our strong and ongoing commitment to the Least Developed Countries Fund. Firm commitment to other nations? <laughs> Seriously, this guy can't even make a firm commitment to follow a simple rule, much less one of the big promises he made, such as... If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. Period. If you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan. Period. 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 A firm path towards a low carbon future. If we put the right rules and incentives in place. Right rules? Seriously? You're going to insist people follow the right rules when you can't even follow a simple one? And then ironically, there's this one where Obama says, let's send that signal. Right as the buzzer goes off, sending him a signal to shut up and put a sock in it. If they get the signal that we mean business this time. Let's send that signal. That's what we seek in these next two weeks. Let's send that signal. <laughs> right. There you go. That's the arrogance of Barack Hussein Obama. Thanks for watching, and if you would, please click the red subscribe button below this video so you will get our latest updates and notifications when we publish our next video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Conservative News.